guys, this is Kyle Fonger from Vapor Hut, driven by you, fueled by vapor. And I have a special surprise for you guys today, the Hollow Point by Silverwolf. This thing's a cloud chasing machine. This is actually the first device I've ever used that's coated in Delrin. It has an interesting feel to it. Some of the edges are a bit sharp, but overall, the ergonomic shape that they put into this thing feels really nice in your hand. And I've been going back and forth between holding it in my palm to kind of holding it in my fingers with a gap there. Um, can't really decide which one I like more, but the shape of this thing is really nice. Talk about a solid feeling device. Man, this thing feels like it could take a real beating. And the whole device is actually copper. It just has this Delrin coating on it. Here she is, the Hollow Point by Silver Wolf. On one side of the device, it's engraved with Hollow Point. And on the other side, you have this nice logo. It says Silver Wolf Customs, Flippin' Pride. And you have your serial number there. You also have a serial number right above the 510 connection. This is number 123 and I believe they only made about 200. The entire mod is a copper body sleeve wrapped with Delrin. First mod I've ever seen coated in Delrin. Here you can see the ergonomic shape where your fingers sit right in. It uses a trigger style button. The 510 connection is completely brass and the pin is actually insulated with what's called PEAK which stands for polyether ether ketone. It's basically more resistant to heat and chemical abuse. This is not printed on, this is actually engraved into the 510 connection. Looks pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Got kind of a yin yang style going on with these bottom positive pin caps. Here you can see how the device is fully copper. And we have these nice copper pins for your batteries that adjust. So there's some extra threading there, just in case your batteries are a millimeter shorter or longer. One thing I have to say about the body is some of these edges are a bit sharp. I found that the most comfortable way of using this is actually with my fingertips rather than with my entire palm. Um, when I'm holding this like so, my thumb crease kind of digs into this edge here and it can feel kind of uncomfortable but just like this feels really nice in the hand I haven't tested the voltage drop on this device yet but the manufacturer is claiming it's almost zero so that'll be interesting to see if it's true to claim if it actually is a zero voltage drop device other than the kind of sharp edges this is an all-around awesome device especially for competition the voltage drop seems really low. When I pull the button, this thing's going and it doesn't drop at all. Now this device is kind of pricey. It's at 240 bucks. Get a $10 discount with juice. So it's definitely more for the collector or the vaping enthusiast out there who's looking for a really nice looking device to use and eventually put on their shelf. But man, is this thing well made. Right now I'm using the El Cabron RDA. I'm running a Clapton zip recoil, three wraps, coming in right around 0 0.13, 0 0.14 ohms. And maybe my next tutorial, I'll show you guys how to build this thing, because the flavor out of this is just excellent. Like I said, this thing hits like a champ. Haven't had a single misfire on this, it's very consistent. So yeah, overall this is an awesome unregulated device. It's extremely well made, it's solid, and it's very comfortable in the hand. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review of the Hollow Point by Silver Wolf Customs. Stop by a Vapor Hut and check this thing out. This thing is awesome. This has been Kyle from Vapor Hut, driven by you, fueled by vapor. Have a great day, guys.